What's going on guys, Hustle Beast here, back again with another episode of Retro Bowl. We have week seven versus Baltimore, which is the deciding game in our QB battle. If we win today, Bryson Whitney becomes our permanent starter and we trade Mullins. If we lose today, Mullins comes off injury, off the bench, and he will be the starter. Defensive back EJ Wise, he's a free agent. He is awful, but we need help on defense, so we have to sign him. I'm also gonna make Butler our kick returner for this game to see how he does. His speed's pretty decent. Enough with the boring stuff. Let's get into the game. We got five and one Baltimore Ravens, a four-star defense, three and a half star offense. Baltimore is a very, very good team, but we are better. Defense on the field first as we kick off for the Ravens. So an early stop here could really help us out. And Landrum wasn't strong enough. Wise was too slow. The new player already making his presence known on the field. Come on, defense. Interception, all right. So the defense comes through at the start of the game. And now we have the ball on the one yard line. Of course, we are going to run it. Just kidding. We're not going to run it. That would be stupid. We're going to pass it and see what we can do. Just don't get sacked. Actually, we are going to run it. Whitney's going to take it out. Just get some space for us to do stuff. A six-yard rush for Whitney. Now we're going to throw it. There's Peep on that post route. I love that route. Throwing deep to him. He has to jump to catch it. But he breaks three tackles. No way Peep's gone here. Inside the 50, 40, 30. The defense gaining on him. And Peep makes one man miss. But he's got 73 yards on one passing play. And off to James. And James is tackled just before he broke free for the touchdown. He's got four yards. Now what do we do? Peep may be coming down. No, Whitney can use his legs. And he's tackled for a loss of seven. Couldn't get that one away. Now it's third and goal. Baltimore is sending the blitz. But we're going to throw it. Try and get it out fast to Peep. And Peep's got a nine-yard touchdown. Extra point right here. No kicker. And it's still good. Let's see if the defense can recreate some of that magic. Landrum was too slow. One more turnover defense. Butler was too slow. They score. Missed the extra point. All right, that's fine. I'll take that. We're still ahead at the start of the second quarter, and now we can get some more points. We got streaks with Dwelly and McNeil. Dwelly takes us across the 50, and now we'll hand it off to James. He's going to break outside and get a stiff arm, break another tackle, and James has 12 yards. Pretty good run for him. Dwelly on this route? No, I don't. We're throwing that one away. There's no shot. Almost got sacked there, but that quick decision making, you know, just toss that pass away. Don't want to lose five yards. Now we're going to hit Dwelly over the middle for 11. Whitney's playing very well so far this game. I'm very impressed with him. He did not have a lot of time to learn the system in the offense, you know, just a few preseason games, and he sat behind Mullins for a few. But overall, Whitney has definitely taken charge of this team, and James powers through for a first down, and again, feed it to him. He breaks through, and James dived for the 10-yard touchdown. Nothing is stopping him. We're up seven. I don't really want to kick it because our kicker isn't that good. We're going to go for two here and give it to James. And James, the power back, gets the two-point conversion. We're up 15 to 6. Come on, defense. Do not let them score before half. There's 25 seconds left, defense. Last play. Butler wasn't strong enough. Are you kidding me? And they score. They make the extra point. We're up two at halftime. 15 to 13. We receive the kick. This drive is crucial in putting this one away. And it starts with Butler on the kick return. Butler takes it to the 35. And now Whitney and company will set up. He'll hand it off to James. James breaks outside, now cuts back inside, but gets stopped. Whitney drops back, dances in the pocket. There's Dwelly up top, cutting back. It's tipped up and out of bounds. This brings up third and four, and McNeil converts. Whitney calls some things out at the line. It's an audible. They snap it to him, and there's Peep down below. But it's read by the defense and intercepted. And now we've got a game again, okay. A great play by the corner, and now it's Baltimore's ball. Come on, defense. Put this game right back into our hands. Butler missed the tackle, and Butler's screwing up all kinds today. They're going to go for two, and they get stopped. So we're down four. Defense made up for their mistake. We're only down four, 19 to 15. Kind of an odd score. We take the touchback, and we got Peep down below on the post route. Three defenders on him. Whitney's going to take it himself. Now we hand it to James. Get a stiff arm. James is wrapped up, third and four. We have one audible left. I don't want to waste it. Now we give it to James. He gets a stiff arm, and James gets a first down for us. He moves the chains. We hand it to him again. This time he does get a stiff arm, and James, another first down, breaks two tackles. Makes a man miss, and now James is off to the races inside the 30. The defense catches up with him, but not after he gets 47 yards. We needed an explosive play, and James delivered, and now it's Dwelly. Knocked down by the defense. A very risky throw, and that could have been the game right there. We'll give it to James again. He's been Mr. Clutch for us. Another stiff arm. And James makes another man miss. But it's a fumble. And the Ravens grab it. We push James too hard. And that's a turnover. A field goal was fine. Come on. Butler missed the tackle. Please, defense. One stop. 
Wise missed the tackle, and they score. They missed the extra points. We're down 10. We have to score fast here. Come on, Butler. Got to hit Peep up top. This is no time to be running the football. And, okay, Clemens, bail this out there. Just get out of bounds. It's fine. Please. Threads the needle to him. Peep is tackled, though. Use our last audible. McNeil should be wide open over the middle. We might have to onside it. I'm going to call a timeout right here. We're at the 25. We need to score in the next two plays. There's Dwelly down below. Excellent coverage. But Dwelly still catches it 15 yards inside the 10. There's James. And James has the touchdown. Two-point try. No question about it. And there's Clemens over the middle for the two points. We're down two. We have to onside it. Please. We recover the ball. We got the onside kick. All we need is a field goal to win us the game. I actually am shocked that we recovered that right now. That's never happened to me. There's 42 seconds left. We're on the 50. What do we do? Okay, we have to run it with Whitney. That play was trash. Four yards right there. It's fine. Clock running down. That was probably a mistake. Peep up top. No, there's James. And James gets tackled. 23 seconds left. We recovered the onside kick, but two bad play calls. And now it's third and two with 20 seconds left. We got to give it to Dwelly. Dwelly comes up big. There's a timeout inside the 30. I'm going to toss this ball to Clemens. He's going to get tackled, and then it's going to set us up for the game-winning field goal. Clemens is open over the middle, and he comes down with it. Seven seconds left. The clock should stop. Three seconds left. We're down two points. If we make this field goal, we win the game. If we miss this field goal, we lose. This field goal is also for Whitney's starting job. Our backup kicker, the chance to be a hero. Songs will be written about this if he makes it. Full power. The kick is up, and it is good. We beat the Ravens by one in an absolute thriller. 26 to 25, what a game. The trade deadline is this week, and you know what this means. Whitney won that game, and I'm gonna be true to my word, we are going to trade Mullins. I'm gonna tag Mullins for the Hall of Fame. He was a great player for us. He took us to the AFC Championship. We will never forget what he did for this team. Seattle's offering a round two pick, and they are a contender. There's no better place for Mullins, I don't think. They're a QB away, and he can be that guy for them. We wish you the best. He's gone, and now Whitney is our QB1 officially. All the momentum is on our side after that crazy game against Baltimore. The Raiders are 1-5. We've played these guys plenty of times before. Let's go out there and destroy them. We received the kick first for Butler. First play of the game, we got Pete on a streak. And he gets past the defense. Look at that. A great throw by Whitney. Mullins could not make that throw. See, this is why Whitney's our starter now. All right, I bet you guys love him now. There's McNeil. Mullins was great. Don't get me wrong. He was, he was pretty clutch. But in terms of physical talent, Whitney just takes the cake in pretty much every aspect of the game. Nice little tight end slant for you. We're going to bullet pass, and he dives in and catches it. Give it to him. He's the power back. He's got the touchdown. Extra point right here is up and good. Now it's the defense chance. Come on. The Raiders offense is really not that good. They got Carr and Adams, but that's pretty much it. Oh, Renfro too, actually, and Josh Jacobs. Never mind. Never mind. I, I forgot about everybody. The Raiders are actually good, and I understand being scored on now. We got streaks for Peep and Dwelly. We'll just see who opens up. I'm not making either of those throws. Not trying to turn it over right now. Whitney can rush. He's got nine yards, almost a first down. Don't want to risk anything, though. Dwelly up top, going to cut outside. I love this route, and I love that catch. Ma manages to stay in bounds. Now we hand it off to James. Keep the chains moving. Now we hand it to James up here. James breaks free, and he's got a touchdown. Nine yards. Extra point to make it 14 to 13 is good. Landry missed the tackle, and the Raiders score again. Now we kick off for the Raiders. I act like this is an easy game, but honestly, they're about to score and take the lead here. We have to actually try now. Come on, guys. This is not an off game. We're not taking the day off. Landon was too slow again, and they score. Now we're going to hit Dwelly right off the bat. He can run around the defense. Then he dives for 15. Trying to work around that corner. No. He gets 15, though. Great contested catch for Peep. Dwelly on a streak. Come on, get past that defender. Yes. Good play. And Dwelly inside the 10. Can he go all the way? Yes, he will. 31 yards as he's tackled into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point right here is good. We're tied at 21, almost the fourth quarter. It's a fumble. There we go. So defense coming up clutch, and now we have the ball. Give it to Dwelly, and Dwelly has a great catch. Two defenders on him, but he still comes down with it. A very stupid throw, but Dwelly bails us out. Now we hand it off to James, and he gets through the middle. 11 yards for James. I am very impressed with that. James through the middle again. No. 
One more time to James. He's got this. The stiff arm and James the power back for the touchdown. 28 to 21 with a minute 43 left. Landry with a huge sack. And there we go, they go for a field goal. I don't know why, they miss it as well. And that'll almost end this one. As long as we can just keep moving the ball downfield, we're fine. Hand it to James, he gets a stiff arm. And James makes another man miss. Come on James, he hurdles a man. And now inside the 10, James is gonna take it all the way for the touchdown, but not before taunting. He's pushed into the end zone by the Raiders and that'll draw a flag, but it's fine. And that'll do it for this game. We win 35 to 21 comfortably over the Raiders. They just kind of fell apart at the end. Five and three gets us third in the division and we sneak into the wild card spot at the seven seed. This is a tough AFC. Next week, we play Kansas City in Arrowhead Stadium. That's going to be a tough one, but we have all the momentum on our side. Our team has played really well these past two weeks. We finally know who our QB is going forward. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next week in Kansas City.